Hi, guitar mates. I hope you are doing well. Now, I am really excited about today's lesson, as this is a song that I used to play back in a covers band in the early 80s. I also know all you Def Leppard fans out there are really going to have fun learning to play this. <laughs> Of course, we are talking Wasted from the On Through the Night album. And we are going to learn all of the guitar parts and the solo. As usual, today's video has been brought to you by everyone who supports my channel over at guitarmates.com, where you will find ad free, in depth lessons, backing tracks, tabs, and tips and techniques to improve your playing. Everyone who supports the channel, even for just $1 a month, will have access to the tabs, backing tracks, more importantly, the guitar profile for today's lesson. Now, while doing my research for the lesson, I found a video taken back in the 80s of the band performing the track. Now, that's when I realized that all the tabs and a number of the current lessons out there are slightly incorrect. So using Transcribe and Moises to isolate the guitar tracks, I believe this is the most accurate lesson now available. And it includes the new tabs and the guitar profile. I've also included some links like the one of the recording that I found that you will find quite interesting in relation to this song. But without any more ado, let's get into it and let's learn how to play Wasted. Let's look at that opening lick. I'll play through and then I'll break it down for you. So it goes like this. <laughs> Right, so what are we doing there? Well, we start off with two chugs on the E. Then we do an A7. Two more chugs on the E. A5. Two more chugs on the E. A10. Two more chugs. Back to the A7. Two more chugs. And then the five. Then we got two chugs. Then we're going straight to a C5 chord on the A and the D string. And you're going to slide up. Then we've got three. Move down to the B5 and we do three again. So put that together. Like that. Then we go back and we repeat the majority of what you just played. We've got them two chokes. A7, A5, A10, A7, and then two more chokes. You do that part the same. You do that 7-7, seven, seven, then up to the D5. And then we've got this little lick, which is a 2 on the A, open A, and then we go in an E3, E2, open string. So, again, put that together nice and slow. And then we're starting off again, because what you're going to do, you're going to repeat them whole four bars that you've done, which is seen as what well, I call that the main riff. So you've got four bars and then you repeat them. So you're always going to be playing that. You're going to finish that on the, the final run. That is your intro. So I'll call that main intro riff. 
then we are going to play the verse. Now the verse is the same, but we don't have that little rundown. So you're playing this. <laughs> Like that. Now, if we think of that main or that riff as a two bar loop, you are going to be playing that four times through the first section. So you've got your intro riff, which lasts for eight bars. You've got an eight bar cycle on the main riff, then you've got the verse, which again is another eight bars, but you're repeating the same thing in this time in the verse. There's no little rundown on that. Then you are into the chorus section. Now the chorus section is just going from a D to an A to a C. So you get this. So I'm doing an E first. To a D chord. To an A chord and then to a C5. And then you've got this little line. Which is open A, two on the A, open A. Then we got this three, three, two. Same as what we did in that main intro riff. So you get. And that last E, as you can hear, is that putting you back to that D chord. Now you're going to play this. So you play the chorus four times, that little riffing that we've done there, the D, A, C riff. Then you go right back to the beginning because it goes back into that main riff. Play that. So we go back to the beginning, play through the main riff, play through the verse, and we play through the chorus. That's your opening section. Then we are into the bridge section. So let me play through it and then I'll break it down. So it's going like this. What are we doing now? Well, we start off with a D5 chord. And I'll hold that for two counts. To a G5 for two counts. To a C5. So I'm just doing that. Like that. Then I go down to a B5. To a D5. So B5. Finishing with an E5. Then we've got this E5 down to a D5, and then sliding down to a uh, C. And then back up. Then we're going to shift strings, and we're going to do a G5 to an A5, uh, backwards and forwards. So we're playing here on the D string. We're doing D and G5 and 7. We get like that, down to a D5 beneath it. Back up to the G5, to an E5, back to a D5, to a C, to B5. So that's your bridge section, and the bridge section Go straight into the solo section. Now the solo is played over a verse, so you're just doing that. Of course, you're going to play that line four times. That's through the solo section. Back end of the solo section, you've got a chorus.
And then we go back and we play the main riff again, the opening riff with a little variation on the end. We play through a verse section. Normally we've been doing that four times, but on this one, you're going to play that six times. So you've got that normal line. <laughs> going to play that six times if you finish that we go back into a chorus and that's the end of the song fairly straightforward song to play it's just got that great rhythm at the beginning real nice and powerful through there uh, so they are all of the elements that have been played as the rhythm guitar track. Just a quick word about the second guitar in this. First of all, it starts off with Steve Clark. I'm sure it's Steve Clark playing that riff. Makes sense. But Pete Willis, who was the guitarist at the time on that, what he's doing behind that, you've got the main riff there, and then he's coming in one, two, three, four. And then he does slide. And he's back. He plays that. And uh, what he's doing there is just playing the same riff through that little section. Goes through the entire thing. He's playing the same thing in the chorus line. Then he goes back the second time. He's got that. Then what he does there, he takes. Um, he's got a seventh fret on the D string, and he's going to go. So you got it. Like that. That's really the only variation. Of course, he does play the riff through the solo because the solo is played by Steve Clark. But just wanted to just point out that little riff there that he puts in. Now, when they play a live, the two guitarists. Vivian Campbell and Phil Collins, they can't really mess around on this, do all kinds of various licks. I get the feeling they're just doing what they feel on the night. But that was what you can hear on the studio track anyway. Right, let's have a look at that opening part of the solo. Uh, it starts off like this. So I'm just doing on the B string, 15, 12, 15 with full turn bend. Then we've got a 50 to the 13 on the B. Then we've got this great little rundown that he's playing here. He just uh, kind of a nice repeating pattern. And it's all in triplets. We're going triplety, 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 triplety over two bars. We are playing 15 to the 13, sliding down to the 12 on the B string. Then we do a 13 pull off to the 12 on the B. Cross to the G14, back to B12. Then we've got a 14 to the 12 on the G with a pull off. And then we go back and do a 14, 12 sliding down to 11. Then we got 12, 11 on the G again. To 14 on the D string. Back to the 11 on the G. Then we got 14, 12 on the D. Back to the 14, 12. Down to the 10. And finishing up on the 9. So. It's a nice little pattern that uh... yeah, you might choose to do different kind of movements with your fingers. That's the one I have worked on. Uh, whether that's the way Steve Clark has played it, until I see a real close up of him playing it, I, I can't really say. But that's the way I'm getting down that pattern. Now, next part, we've got this little series of triplati. We've got quarter note triplets. And I'm doing uh, this. When I 
what I'm doing there, I'm back on the D string, I'm doing a 10, 12, back to the 9 on the G. Then I do a 9, 10 on the D string, to the 7 on the G. And then I'm doing a 7 on the A, to a 6, to a 7. Then I got a quick slide up to the 9 on the D and then 7 9 on the G. So. Give it a triple T, triple T, like that. Then we cross over and we are on 9 and 12. And we are going to do. Just going to hold that through bar. 1, 2, 3. Four. Just doing that 9, 12 backwards and forwards. Like that. Next up, we have got this nice little piece here. Okay, what I'm doing down there, I am playing, uh, I'm just going across, I'm doing a D10 to a D9. And then I am playing 7 on the B. And then an eight. Now they are going one, two, three, four on the count. Back to the seven. And then I've got this seven, eight, seven. Finishing on the nine on the D. Then I've got a nine, seven on the G. And then eight, seven. on the B string, back to the 9 on the G, and then we got another quadrinal triplet, so, that little phrase there, next part we're going to quickly move up to the 12th fret and we're going to play this line. doing that it's 12 13 15 on a quarter note triplet cross over 12 14 15 back to the 14 and then i got a 12 14 12 quick little hammer and pull off to the 15 on the b and then back to 12 14 15 back to the 14 again i've got a 12 14 pull off to the 12 and this time I do 15, 12. So. That's that phrase there. From there we've got uh, to 17, 14, when so kind of lazy. Kind of go up there. And then you're going to come out of that bend. Doing a 12 15, and again, it's for the full bar. Like that. And the final lick. What I'm doing there, I'm doing a 15 14 on the high E string. Then I've got this 12 14 hammer on pull off. Back to the 12 on the high E string. And then 13, 15 on the B to the 12. And then I've got a 14, 15. And you've got the kind of staccato feel. What you're playing there. And at the end of that, we have this little harmony. You're playing 17 on the... High E string, you get this. That's been played on the 17, but there's another guitar on the 22nd fret. Exactly the same line. And that's how we end the solo. Thank <laughs> you.